The relationship between the orbit of Pluto and Neptune is quite intriguing. As the celestial objects drift through the emptiness of space, their paths sometimes bring them closer to each other, and scientists have long wondered what would happen if they were to collide. Some say this scenario is extremely unlikely, while others argue a potential collision is almost inevitable. But what exactly are the facts? Will the two planetary bodies ever collide? Let's find out. Pluto, a tiny distant astrophysical object, was once considered the ninth planet of our solar system. It's plagued with a strange orbit that has left astronomers stunned. Generally, most planets and objects in the solar system orbit the Sun following a perfect circle path. However, in the case of Pluto, its path around the Sun isn't circular. Instead, it travels around the Sun through an oval-shaped path known as an ellipse. This means that sometimes Pluto is closer to the Sun than Neptune, which is the eighth planet from the Sun. But that's not all there is to know about Pluto's orbit. In addition to this unusual travelling path, Pluto's orbit is also tilted at an angle of 17 degrees. In other words, this small icy world travels above and below the plane of the solar system that most other planets follow. As a result, Pluto's distance from the Sun varies dramatically. Also, it requires about 248 Earth years to complete one orbit or revolution around the Sun. In fact, ever since it was discovered, Pluto is yet to complete a single orbit. All of these factors, particularly the strange orbit, has made Pluto the subject of many scientific investigations since it was discovered in 1930. As much as they tried, astronomers just couldn't understand why a planet would travel through an awkward trajectory like Pluto does. Eventually, after long sessions of intense debates, Pluto was downgraded and reclassified as a dwarf planet. Initially, it seemed like we would never have to worry about this tiny icy object again. But after further observation, they discovered something strange and terrifying. Recall earlier when we said Pluto needs 248 years to complete a single orbit around the Sun. Well, around 20 years or 8% of that period is spent within Neptune's orbit. As we all know, Neptune is the eighth and most distant planet in our solar system. At the same time, it is the closest planet to Pluto, but their connection goes deeper than just proximity. Diagrams of the solar system have shown that Neptune and Pluto share a special relationship and travel along the same path called the Kuiper Belt. As Neptune orbits around the Sun, its gravitational pull influences the orbit of Pluto. Based on these facts, cosmic scientists fear that these two planetary bodies might one day collide. In fact, a certain science textbook even mentioned that Pluto crossed the orbit of Neptune in February 1999. This may not have happened for a fact, because if it did, Pluto and Neptune would be a lot different from what they are today. But of course, the fact that they didn't collide in 1999 doesn't erase the possibility of a potential collision in the future. If you analyse both Neptune and Pluto in two-dimensional space, it appears that their orbits will intersect at some point. But reality suggests otherwise. Subsequent investigations carried out by top cosmic scientists and astronomers reveal that these planets are never in the same place at the same time. In fact, due to Pluto's elliptical orbit, which is tilted 17 degrees to the elliptic, both celestial objects do traverse through the same three-dimensional point in space. To understand this phenomenon even more, we will be discussing two orbital effects called latitudinal liberation and azimuthal liberation. Whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, azimuthal liberation ensures that it is always at least 90 degrees away from the gas giant. Latitude liberation, on the other hand, ensures that whenever Pluto approaches its closest point to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is always high above them and the plane of the solar system. The combination of these two factors helps to keep Pluto out of harm's way. However, it is important to mention that both azimuthal liberation and latitude liberation are consequences of the orbital resonance between both planets. Scientists say Pluto and Neptune are locked in a 3-2 orbital resonance. In layman's English, this means that for every three trips that Neptune makes around the Sun, Pluto completes two orbits. As long as they continue to remain in sync and align with this orbital resonance, both planets will be safe. 
And there's no reason why they shouldn't, because even when they start to get out of sync, their gravitational pull has been naturally programmed to nudge them back into position. Thanks to this phenomenon, Pluto and Neptune never come within 16 astronomical units of themselves. And just to mention that one astronomical unit is equivalent to the average distance between our Earth and the Sun. However, there seems to be a problem. Numerical simulations conducted way back in the 1980s suggest that Pluto's orbit is technically unbalanced. Based on the observations of these simulations, Pluto is expected to either collide with another world some several billion years from now, or travel out of our solar system completely. This prompted two planetary scientists, Renu Malhotra of the Lunar and Planetary Laboratory at the University of Arizona, and Takoshi Ito of the National Astronomical Observatory in Japan, to launch a much-needed research to understand how Pluto has been able to survive these doomsday predictions. Obviously, to do this, they need to travel back in time. But since our time travel technology isn't ready just yet, they opted to carry out their research using computer simulations to imitate the conditions on the planet over the last five billion years. And the outcome was intriguing. To start with, they discovered that Neptune has the greatest influence on Pluto's as a muthal liberation. This is more or less a consequence of the 3-2 orbital resonance between both planets which we explained earlier. In addition, the simulation suggests that Neptune doesn't really influence Pluto's latitudinal liberation in the way that some scientists would have expected. But undoubtedly, the most surprising revelation from this simulation is Uranus. From their observations, these renowned planetary scientists discovered that Uranus actively distorts both the azimuthal and latitudinal constraints. So, left to the influence of Neptune and Uranus alone, Pluto would have become unstable and collided with another planet within a couple of million years. Alternatively, this small icy world could also have been booted out of our solar system entirely. However, thanks to the influence of Jupiter and Saturn to some extent, none of this has happened yet. But how have they been able to do this? Despite being farther from Pluto than Neptune and Uranus, Jupiter and Saturn still maintain a significant level of dominance and influence over these planets and the regions of space in which they reside, thanks to enormous gravitational pull that they possess. According to experts, Jupiter alone contributed enough gravitational influence to ensure that Pluto's orbit remained stable across the last 5 billion years. What's even more interesting is the fact that this stability zone is so narrow, yet the dwarf planet has been able to stick within it thanks to the chance arrangement of planets in the solar system. The results of this research were published on March 31st in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences and also has implications for bodies with orbits similar to Pluto's and a 3-2 resonance with Neptune. They offer a special insight into the history of the solar system, because the orbits of different populations of tiny objects in the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune still bear the marks of how they were driven around by the migratory gas giants in the early solar system. They may cover up signs of the presence of extinct planets that were ejected from the solar system billions of years ago due to their orbits. For now, Pluto and Neptune will continue on their separate journey through space, each one unique and fascinating in its own way. And even though they may never collide, their distant dance through the cosmos will forever remain a mystery of some sort to those who study the universe.